The COP26 climate summit is underway and to mark that event, Euronews brought together experts from China and Europe for a special debate programme discussing how to achieve carbon neutrality. Here are some of the highlights. Welcome everyone. Do we absolutely have to have carbon neutrality? Is that the goal, the only goal that we can set? I'm afraid we do have to set uh, a carbon neutrality goal, and that's non-negotiable. Stabilizing the climate at any level requires us to go to net zero carbon dioxide emissions. In the long term, if humanity wants to survive, we have to give up using fossil fuels. When most countries, particularly developed countries, claiming 2050 already reaching carbon neutrality, China is talking about 2060. Why? Well, I think China is taking a very practical and also methodical approach to this because China is the largest developing country in the world. Actually, if you run the math, you will find that uh, that 2060 commitment itself is both already. How do you fix the coal problem? Because coal is just so much last century's technology, but it's what's powering all of this growth and development. How are you going to clean it up? So coal, of course, unfortunately, we have to address as soon as possible. That's already in the plan. But more importantly, actually, China is literally redesigning its national energy system. You know, what if the sun's not shining, the wind's not blowing? We know energy storage is a massive problem. AJ, how are we going to fix that? Because at the moment you said, well, about 10% renewables. We want to get to 70 or 80% renewables. How are we going to store all this energy? You know, we'll be plugging our cars in to charge in a few years' time, and the batteries in those cars will be feeding electricity back to the grid. You know, there are already a number of electricity companies that are um, uh, piloting those vehicle-to-grid technologies. So our cars will be uh, contributing as sort of mini power stations to the grid and providing storage in that way. Today, we know, for example, how to build and retrofit buildings mm. in a way that they are basically power plants, so they produce more energy than what they and their, their uh, inhabitants all consume. Mm. So we can cut energy consumption by nine-tenths, so by 90%, simply by innovation and not by expensive high technologies. As you've heard, achieving carbon neutrality is a big challenge, but a target that simply has to be achieved. You can carry on with this conversation and watch the full debate on Euronews.com and let us know your thoughts using Euronews social media channels.